will shave your head if I if I do decide by Joe. I now have your username. So now when I eventually do do the Joe album or the DeJoe album, we're gonna have to see your shaved head. Beautiful, that's how we get good YouTube content. <laughs> Ladies and gentle bitches, or shall I say gentle witches? Yeah, yeah, maybe. My name is Troy, and today we are going to be diving into the brand new album from singer, songwriter, rock star, British rock star, Maisie Peters. I have been seeing the flood of comments cue all the chat probably going crazy that we're actually doing Maisie today. I have been getting flooded on Discord, on YouTube, on every one of my platforms to listen to this new Maisie Peters, dude. I know that it went number one in the UK back when it dropped, which was a minute ago. She only has three million monthly listeners, guys. That technically falls within the parameters of another small artist here, dude. Under five mil is honestly, to me, kind of a small artist. So today, we are giving Miss Maisie her flowers by diving into her new album, sophomore album, Good Witch. The Good Witch. So what does that make me? The bad witch? The bad bitch. Will this album transform me into one? Only one way to find out, folks. Clocking in at 15 songs, 47 minutes and 17 seconds, a little bit longer than normal. Usually we're, we're looking at like 12 songs, but this is nice, this is good, okay. Quite a few writers and producers, including After Hours, which if you are not familiar with, they are <laughs> the 1D Boys, classic, as well as a little bit of Niall, a little bit of uh, Joshua Bassett in here and Louis, Louis as well. Joe Rubel, who's worked with Ed Sheeran, as well as Dottie, <laughs> Dodi, I don't know. I never, I can never say her name right. Let's dive into it. First track, the title track, The Good Witch. Let's see what you got, Glinda. Still me here. Do you think I forgot about you? Still oh my God. But now I'm 22. Let's call the piano. this the calm before the storm comes rushing through. Ooh, dude, there's like little fireflies of piano keys surrounding. It's sing, it's it's a little folky too. Oh. Still kings cross and pulling hard break out of hats. Still argue like my mother and suppress stuff like my dad. Still Ooh, okay. Missy. A little percussion moments in here. And I'm filling the space. It's nice. I give them all my best. I light another candle and I chant under my breath. Oh, is that her way? She's casting spells? But I will not forget. God, that is so hype. Oh, wow. Oh my God, dude. What what an opening track. Just to kind of start off with the fluttery little piano firefly levitating moment, dropping into all of these nice little melodies with the kick drums and all the percussion to end it on the voice note. Dude, She, this is the show. We're, 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 we're starting it up. I love that revving sound effect as you hear the chanting from the audience kind of come in at, at the back end of it. Ooh. I, I want to go back into some of the lyrics because I know that she's got some heaters. She's got the quill. She's got the pen referencing. I know King's Cross is British. I know that. I've been there. I am slightly cultured. I caught that one. Where she says, still bitter, still don't play the black keys. Like she's saying she's still like a beginning piano player. I love that, dude. Oh my God. I'm a, I'm a white key player too, baby. This is what I do, baby. Oh, all day. In the course, she says, am I better yet when all I do is think about the past? Make it a universe that you can live in. You want to hear from all the people in my heart? Well, okay, when it kicks in. Yeah, it's a really uh, very cinematic. Let's get into the next one. It is Coming of Age. All right. Cue up the John Hughes soundtrack, baby. Your face is fluorescent. Whoa, what? I'm sorry, that caught me so off guard. I really was expecting like the indie guitar John Hughes, but no, no, we're getting into some pumping funky disco, I guess, for the second track. Your face is fluorescent, looks different in the daylight. Like, was it a love Ooh. affair or just a lot of late nights? Like, you had to speak 
Oh my god, the double vocals. Tattoos? I got some tattoos. I got some new ones. Okay, switch up. Whoa! Oh my god! Dude, where did this chorus come from? All right. Mixing in this like kind of electronic production is she's like kind of implementing these like punk rock, a little bit of emo, like really crazy guitar strumming. I really like it. It helps bring up that energy. Baby, I am the Iliad. Of course you couldn't read me. So <laughs> if there's anything I know about a man, it's that he's illiterate. Speaking from experience, dude. No, this is my coming of age. <laughs> The pure digital noise cutout, like that's kind of like what I kind of tend to call those moments where like, it's not just like a simple vocal cutout, it's the entire track that gets cut out for like a very like short amount of time. It just works as this little like jump start into back into the energy of this chorus again. It just helps to keep it just going that much farther. It took me a little bit, it took me up until about probably like the first chorus to kind of get the, get the vibe of it, but it really does hit you with that pumping good energy, dude. All right, let's get into the next one. It's called Watch and it's the first explosive. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. Curse words, huh? I'm watching. I'm sat. Oh, I Tell like a chunky guitar. That this is my era. Then writing a lot of heartbroken music. Nobody actually happy and healthy has ever felt so desperate to prove it. It looked like a film Michael Sarah would act in. And if Michael Sarah? Like face lock, Yo, is that a, a Barbie singing. reference? You're still Like a bad magician. Oh! Oh, dude, this is the indie band kind of feel that I like. Oh, dude, she's rising this wave. Oh, dude, this is some really like fun poppy indie rock. This is really, really cool. I love the reference to Michael Sarah, dude. That is super bad ass, dude. I love that. I just saw you and your girlfriend. Sure, I don't know. She's your girlfriend. Well, fucking sue me. Because at least then we could talk. You're still there. Still there. Ooh, the little fake out. I like it. Wait a minute, dude. It just clicked. I'm sorry. I'm so slow. I am a little illiterate too. She's honestly kind of right. Just the fact of like, it reads out as this like moment of reckoning when you see your ex who's moved on with somebody and it's just like, I see you're doing good. Like, damn it, he's still hot. Shit, he's even hotter. He's got a beard now. I'm just, I just, what do I have to do? I just have to sit here and watch this all go down. Damn. Yeah, I really like it actually. I think, I think that's going to be a green heart club. Believe it or not. Hell yeah. I feel like she is talking to me in this song with all these references to like actors that I like. Michael Sarah. Also saying in verse two, Millennium Baby. Everybody knows that I'm, I'm the millennial on, on the internet. Come on, dude. That's gotta be an HT reference. I love the fucking Sumi line because at least then we could talk. Oh, just for the fact you're like, oh, is she his girlfriend? If they are, it's going to be awkward if I go up. But if she's not like, yeah, I guess that would kind of make sense. Like, OK, but what are the odds that he's actually out with a girl that's not his girlfriend? Like, come on. Like, what are the, the next song is one that I think that we've heard before, actually, on stream entitled Body Better. She's getting that body better, baby. Ah, oh, talk about somebody who's getting their body better. Me right now and Angela. Uh, uh. Oh damn, I have a damn I have a pimple on my arm. Of course I have a pimple on my arm. Shit! Getting buff, dude. I'm working out like four times a week now. I feel like I'm actually starting to take care of my health. Let's get it. Body better. Ooh, ooh. 
I don't know how I feel about that intro. Call your heartbeat at its best. You were it for me. Did I just not do it for you superficially? Cause you were it for me. Oh, that acoustic creeping in. Ooh, and you get that drum in there too. It's not, I don't know if it's like my favorite so far, but it, it, it's, it's chilling out. Flow? Honestly, really kind of a kind of a sad song. <laughs> like actually like a really sad song. Oh, and it just stops like that. I don't know how I feel about that one stopping and just being in the mix like that. I don't know. Overall, yeah, kind of just a sad song. I mean, you know, obviously something that a lot of people can relate to having, you know, insecure thoughts about your your ex's new flame that might be slightly conventionally hotter than you, but at the end of the day, you know, it's you who's in control of those feelings, you know, and it, and, it, and it sucks to feel like that. I think she sums it up really well in the B section of this chorus where she says, loving you is easy. That's why it hurts now. The worst way to love someone is to watch them love someone else and it work out. You'd think it would be, it would feel so easy when you're in the relationship, everything is effortless. And it's like, you're in this kind of honeymoon period. And the worst way, to see that reflected is to see them actually work out like super well with somebody else. That's pain. Oh, that's pain. I would like to hear the acoustic version of this. I bet that would actually kind of go off. I feel like my main issue is just with like the beginning synth, like that just kind of like really loud moment. I just don't know. I just don't know how I feel about this. It kind of hurts my ears, bro. Next tune is Want You Back. It's just a Jackson 5 cover. Ooh, some wind. Okay. I was treading water till the minute we met Till you caught a teacher's daughter with a dangerous text I read it like a Bible and I wore it like a bulletproof vest It's giving Ed Sheeran a little flow Yeah, I was the DJ and the darling of your passenger side The DJ? Oh so my gosh I know, I know all of this and I I still want you back <sighs> Despite everything, she I still, still, she still back. wants the relationship back Get your lighters. Find yourself a lover, I bet she doesn't sing. But baby, when you touch her, I bet she doesn't flinch. She'll have you every summer when I only had you off of the spring. I must go out with a stranger. I oh. must kiss him to get strong. Kiss that stranger. So well. I don't tell a soul, but I'll be yours be careful, be again careful. tomorrow if you want it. I still want you back. I still want you back. Okay, pretty good. I like I like the production all around that one. It feels very uh, close to the heart. And we have a long, sustained piano note at the end. The next tune is The Band and I. Okay, cool. Tell me about your band, bro. I want to hear all about them. Guitar player, Ned. Two kids. Loves a good B-string solo. Okay. Then we have Tommy on drums, of course. Smacking the toms. Eleanor on keys. Rocking with you, Eleanor. Don't let her intimidate you. And then we have Steve on bass. I rock with Steve. He's a quiet soul. He doesn't say much, but man, you know what? When you get to know him, good guy. Let's hear about your band, Maisie. We played heads up in a car in Seattle. I like that game. My drummer fell for a girl in a cookie shop. Tommy. He said he'd make a move and then he went with excuse me. Came a boy and left a man. Okay. God there is. Give it to the band. Okay. Again. Tommy's risen it up. It was Friday nights, it was video gold, oh, it was shining lights, it was a rock and roll, it was the band. Oh, I like that melody. Okay, nice. We got a little breakaway moment with some repeated lyrics. And this bridge. Oh, so young. The band go home, I 
a stay to write They drive around to stay the night Guys, I'm pretty sure it's the American dream In a way Oh, it was breaking down oh. It was in love in Oh, take me with you Dude, that is yeah. writing more songs about the band. How she kind of brings us on this tour through Little Rock, through El Rey, you know, whatever little towns she's peeking through, and all the while talking about how this is like the American dream. Yeah, yeah, it is, except you're not like broke by the end of it, and you're not like taking an L, you know, financially. And also, Shouts out to Tina. Shouts out to Tina getting stern in verse three, I think. I knew I would get along with the band. Just the name Tina is definitely a piano player. She's tinkling Tina. She's tinkling the keys with Tina. Great song. Greenheart, honestly. That's... <laughs> Look, dude, I don't make the rules sometimes, but sometimes I do, okay? The next song is You're Just a Boy, Prince, and I'm Kinda the Man. Okay. Okay, more rock energy. I really like the contrast between her kind of like sweet, you know, spoken word kind of, you know, with the like rock guitar aesthetic. I, I gravitate towards that. Text her back. I'm on a boat oh. Take over this world. You could have come, but your head's in the sand. Oh, you dumb bitch. What's the girl gonna do when she's in love with you? But you're just a boy and I'm kind of the man. Oh, my God. Take over the world. You could have come, babe. I held out my hand. Oh, wow. Okay, I, I I like it. I really like this one, dude. You're just a boy and I'm kind of the man, dude. Take it from me. Sometimes, actually more like all the time, it is okay to have the woman wear the pants in the relationship. That is fine. You look great in a pair of slacks, Maisie. Don't you know that you're losing this? Oh, that guitar lick? Don't you know that oh. you're losing this? I'm about to be gone. Don't yeah. you see what you're giving? I'm yes, yes, that's so good. Dude. Wow. Dude, this is fucking awesome. It connected with me in like literally the bridge, but she's saying that you're just a boy and she's kind of the man as in like a way of saying she's like matured past wanting to have like a boyfriend. She she now needs a man, like a full grown, I am self-sufficient. Yes, yeah, she's done with the immaturity. And having that kind of resonated through this kind of like guitar driven indie rock progression feels so good. Good dude to just let out and just to you it makes it just makes you want to scream that chorus. I'm on a one-way trip to take over the world. You could have come, but your head's in the sand. Like a fucking duck, dude. Like a fucking ostrich, okay? Yeah, I love this one. This one's definitely getting added to the Green Heart Club as well. Let's go into the next one. Lost the breakup. Clearly, she's winning the breakup. Yes. <laughs> I love that palm mute guitar too. Lost 
the chorus is just so good, dude. I can't get over how addicting that chorus melody is. It really only uses like four notes, which is also just a great like pop formula thing that, that happens. But having that oh shit at the very end of it makes you want to scream that shit. Oh my God. This is Taylor Swift coded right here. It's been forever. Do you want to get a drink like together? I say I'm kind of busy, but like stay in touch. I think, oh, oh shit. Fuck. I want the break up. Smile, you have to face it. I'm oh, not the greatest love yeah. that you Incredible. Oh. Definitely giving that like ending of love story, wrapping up the narrative kind of Taylor Swift-esque bridge. And it hits, dude. You guys remember when I uh, told you that I was working out like frequently? And I was like, yeah, muscle, muscle, muscle. Yeah, 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 big, big, big guy. I'm also very sore, very sore in my legs specifically. So uh, if I'm not dancing as much, don't think that's a reflection on, on the tune. My reviewing style has kind of just turned into, is he shaking ass or is he talking about it? <laughs> we should move into the next tune, which is Wendy, the next stoon. The next tune is called Swen, Swen, Wendy, Swen, Wendy. Like Peter and Wendy, I can only assume. Um, or maybe she's just a big fan of Wendy's. Like your boy, that's right. I love Wendy's. I love me a square burger, dude. Sue me. Dude, all these songs are so well produced. Like each in their very own world. Like the future, then you closed up like a fist. Like a fist? Lost my page when you kissed me. Now I remember the whole book. She almost loses her way because she followed him after one look. Oh. You could take Whoa. me to Neverland, baby. Neverland! We could live off of magic and maybe. Oh. But I know. Every lost boy, there's a Wendy. Oh my god. And what about my wings? What about Wendy? Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, jail time for some of those lyrics. Yeah, jail time for some of them. The flinching at the doorway. Oh, ouch. There's some other heaters in here too, honestly. Wandering back to the forest, lose the world that you live in, pretend like it's what you wanted, it's a life I could have, I know. I love all of these like, you know, storytelling, like painterly kind of situations she's like giving us and then to end on questions. But what about my wings? What about Wendy? Oh, yeah, that's powerful, man. I also love the first line. You're rolling like a stone, you're laughing like a kid, you're calling like the future, then you're closed up like a fist curl what makes me want to curl up my fist and really give them a, a good knuckle sandwich order that one at wendy's motherfucker the next one is run she's a runner she's a track star she gonna run away when it gets high i guess let's run it up he came he disappeared he came he came where I've been oh, liked, shit. I've been caught and deleted. Ooh. I've heard some things that I will leave unrepeated. I've seen some flags, but the reddest one is if a man says that he wants you in his life forever. Run! Ooh. He calls you up, says he's so in love, and it's been a while to make you better. Run! Ooh. If your heart says broke and your friends say don't, it's an RIP, you better. Run! As fast as you can, take a quick, sharp turn at the side of a man and make it done. And you know what, while you're running, you might as well paint like a little tunnel picture so that he just runs directly into that one as he's coming after you. Run. Yes! Yeah, haven't hit this baby in a minute, but I think I'm gonna need to. Oh my God. Oh, my legs are dead, dude. <laughs> my legs are so 
so deceased. Oh, my legs are six feet under, brother. Let me just tell you that right quick. That song is so good. I feel like I ran a mile. My heartbeat is like boom, 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 boom. So please, for the love of God, Maisie, please let two weeks ago be relatively slow. It's like 60 over 140. It's crazy. It's, uh, I don't even know. The next one is two weeks ago. I wish it was two weeks ago in your room that night. I wish I'd known when you held me tight. Wish I hadn't let go. And I wish it was two weeks ago. I won't ago. let go. You were driving fast. I was holding back. Ooh. And I loved you, babe. But I bet you knew that the song oh, was melodies. true in the sky. God, we have slow strings. Thank you, Maisie. Thank you. I wish when we went to the beach Oh God, there's a kick. Oh, it's pretty fast. Knew you love me, babe, when you told me that and the song was true and the sky was black. Oh. God, I wish it was I love the way the chords push through. Oh, I, wish it was oh, I like the backing vocals too. Very nice. Note selection. I like the little seven. Oh, the harmonies. me up right at the end right at the end dude oh she even herself describes the song as like a time capsule wow dude this is such a like sensitive approach to kind of the stuff that we've been feeling throughout the rest of this album really going back to her feeling like she was scared to be in love and how she wished that she could go back in time and and do the things that she should have done two weeks ago before you know this inevitably led to potentially a breakup that she regrets. Love her with the softer tone with the acoustics as well. Her voice is very unique and particular in the way that I feel like it is accented by a, the acoustic treatment. Yeah, I also see that there's an acoustic video of this song as well, which I would love to hit up after this. Wow. The next one is BSC, and I honestly do not know what this sound this stands for. So sound off in the chat if you guys know what this one's for. I'm guessing best Southern cooking, but I'm also just saying that because I would really love some good ass southern cooking in my stomach right now I cut my nose to save some face you cut your Whoa. hair and take some space Into it. we don't speak cuz it's too tricky but if i'm tricky why you kiss me on the forehead way up north press the scar in a forehead kiss. Dude, I'm a big fan of forehead kisses. Sorry, I just had to say. I hear forehead kiss and I'm like, dude, that's my shit. Ooh. Mimicking that vocal line with the guitar. Oh. Funny and I'm laughing. Yeah. Oh, the hits. Bat shit crazy? Okay, okay, I love that. I love that. I like that you have to kind of get into the song too. Great title choice. I am both Kathy Bates and Stephen King. Oh shit. I oh, can shit. write you out the way I wrote you in. Oh. Cause here's the thing. You broke me. Oh, that's so time. nice. That's so nice. It's funny and I'm laughing, baby. The arpeggiator. Did you sing? Oh my god. This live concert is going to be absolutely unreal. I can already feel it from all of these band hits in this chorus. I know, I'm bringing it up again, but she is absolutely killing the ending phrases of these choruses. Bloody motherfucking batshit crazy. Yes, I want to scream that at the top of my lungs. Are you kidding me, dude? That's so fire, bro. Yeah, fantastic song, Greenheart Club. It's a dinger! But let me calm my ass down. Let me chill out. Let me clock into therapy. Let's go to therapy. It's the next tune. Destiny. When we met, I told you I've been treated carelessly. Oh, the guitar. Next to me, in the bed of poison, no cure the remedy. Dude, I like the guitar lines. 
There's actually guitar lines. I love this tempo. Yes, chorus. And the class. Oh. You're making her go back to therapy. Oh. Oh, and it's a rising moment. Yes, Russ. Oh, yeah. Impeccable pop choruses, bro. Throughout this entire project, we've been getting hit with just absolutely melodic gems. Having a lot of really good fun, dude. That was a great song. She really is a pop girly. She really is one of the daughters of Taylor with her own individual twist as well. And this is her sophomore album. Yeah, I remember we actually did listen to her debut, I think, a long time ago. It was a lot more like piano-driven singer-songwriter, kind of just like toying with a little bit of the, it was like in the, like the early Ed Sheeran kind of reminiscent kind of days. This feels a lot more personality-driven, and I feel like it's hitting on multiple different layers when it comes to like enjoyment of like pop music, lyrics, you know, production elements that keep you interested. Uh, overall, just been really fun to listen to the whole time. The next song is called There It Goes, and we're coming to a close. So we're saying there it goes to the rest of the album. Goodbye. Oh, and it's piano, baby. Of course, it's gotta be. How much? I'm reading novels, I'm dating, but just dating for sport. I'm getting coffees for free. I can finally breathe. I saw oh, me I too, girl. You the best of me, but the love we had was covered in snow. I had to let it go. And yeah, the love we had was eating me whole. I had to send it home. Nice, nice. Also, you know what? It fits very well thematically with the rest of the album as well. Letting go of this love. You've realized that you're you're doing better. You're not wishing bad intentions. You're just saying, hey, the love we had was covered in snow. I had to let it go. She was harboring this love that she still had for somebody who was just not, not connected to anymore. There's snow on it. The seasons have changed. Let it go. Let it melt. Let a deer have it or something, you know? Black cat in the streets. Black cat in the street lights. Okay, maybe that's a, a Bleach reference. Yoroichi, potentially. One of my favorite Bleach characters. The start of me potentially thinking that I might be a furry. Who knows? Uh, moving on into the last song from this album. Uh, History of Man. If there's going to be no horses mentioned in this, not interested. Don't want to hear about it. If there's no horses, I'm out. I'm gone. Tail as old as honey. Ooh. A moment everybody knows. That's old as fuck. Dude, B's been around forever, dog. I couldn't believe it. What? How you could just stop wanting me. Oh, shit. You burnt down Easter Island. Oh, my God. Oh, the whole thing? As if it wasn't sacred. Oh. As if it wasn't sacred. A call. To me, a I've reference. seen it. In the poems and the sins I've pleaded With the powers and their plans I tried oh, to Rewrite it but I can't It's the history The history The story of then Promise heaven The men Star Wars Yet Troy hates heaven Women's oh, hearts yeah, are yeah, Lethal yeah, weapons The yeah. history of men
the history of man. Unable to be rewritten by Maisie Peters, unfortunately, dude. Wow, yeah, this is, uh, this is sad, dude. This feels like she's at her wit's end. As a man, I will say, men are kind of the worst. <laughs> yeah, we kind of are, man. I'll be real with you. <laughs> but damn, dude. I save you a seat and then you say you want to stand? Oh, the blatant disrespect. Just saying, she's saying, you know, I try to explain this to you, but you just don't understand. Yeah, dumbass. Dumbassery. The men start wars, yet Troy hates Helen. I love Helen. Helen is dope, dude. I have ha I've had many trips up to Helen, Helen, Georgia. It's it's nice up there. Kind of in the mountains, you get a little bit away from the city. Feels nice. You get some fresh air. Who's to say I hate Helen? I'm trying to think of a Helen that I don't like. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I like Helen. Other th other than that line, I like it. And you know what? I'm not a big history guy either. I like learning about it, but I but I hate being like taught it. But that was that was very nice. As for the entire album, I feel like it kind of gets wrapped up in a nice kind of way too as well if you made it this far that's gonna wrap up actually sorry let me fucking do that one over again what the fuck was i talking let me and that's gonna be a wrap for the good witch by mrs Maisie peters overall i enjoyed it thoroughly it was very fun i feel like there's some really smash choruses on there that are gonna be an absolute blast to see her play live which i will be seeing in atlanta as she comes through yeah yes me and angela will be there so if you're getting tickets and you want to jam out together i'll see you there as always if you liked what you just watched feel free to like and subscribe uh turn on bell notifications and be notified whenever i post new videos this entire stream will be up on Patreon, uncut and edited if you want to watch the entire thing. I will have a review up on AOTY of how I truly feel this album sat with me over a longer periodically time over on AOTY. <laughs> so go and follow me over there, folks. But that is going to be a wrap for your boy. I have to fly off on my Nimbus 3000, baby. Like a good witch, I am a good wizard. Gotta get out of here. As always, stay happy, healthy, and strong, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.